Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha. My name is Jeebs. You're here at the Decomposer Lounge, old composer, breaking down some of the music for you, the pure listener. Not a theoretical breakdown, but every now and then I do dance around a few things that are super cool that some musicians and producers and engineer, uh, engineers, if you're here on this journey with me, may enjoy a little bit. Right now I'm getting ready to do Muse Stockholm Syndrome. I did do one of their tracks, I think a couple months ago, so I look forward to another track. It's one of the fun things about my journey with you is that you're telling me songs to check out that I've never heard and then once I start getting involved in an artist or a band, I've done one, two or three, it's kind of a fun uh, learning lesson that you guys get to guide me on which is really super cool. So I like to trade off on that. See any advertisement on this? As you know, copyright claim, that's the publishers and the writers, that's their advertising if you want to support the uh, channel. You want to buy me a cup of coffee? That link will be down below as well as the link for their music, their Spotify and their merch. So let's do this. Muse Stockholm Syndrome. All right. Okay, first stop, I know it feels like I'm gonna about to get into the hook here, so don't worry, I will go back a little bit. I love the opening riff of the guitar. Very unique engineering on this. Um, a lot of isolation and separation, um, and that really works out really well uh, if you have that opportunity as an engineer, if you have multiple uh, layers going on, instrumentation going on, that you really get to play with dynamics. Um, first, I wanna start off with that guitar riff. That opening guitar riff, what I love about that is that it seems like it's a pedaled, hang on for a second, like a pedal D, so I had to reach over and listen to my guitar in my ears. Like, And what I mean by that is, is that um, that opening riff, um, he hits an open string while making those note changes as the root. So it's da 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 You know, so it, that whole, that interval there is really super fun. We hear a lot of that interval use in a lot of the prog rock, new metal, um, and math metal kind of stuff where they try as best as possible when they have the open tunings to use the open strings so that you can get uh, these intervals, these spaces between notes a lot of times in, in playing. Um, the drum sound is so, so, so cool. Very unique, but if you notice, it's kind of deeper back than a lot of the other stuff that I've listened to. So I really, really super dig that. This, uh, this guy's voice, what a great voice, but it kind of reminds me of um, the singer from Mars Volta. Doesn't it kind of have that same kind of tone quality to it? Um, and then the chord changes and the moving around so far in the verses is very intriguing and really, really super cool. And, um, uh, you know, since this isn't a theory breakdown, first time listen, I'm not like, you know, super ear first, uh, what do you call it, uh, where you can pick up the keys just by listening to it. Uh, first time around, but very unique chord changes through here. And I also like the fact that in the beginning of the first verse, the drummer was using a lot of the toms first, really getting you set up for that, and then straightens it out for this. So it looks like we're getting into a hook. Let me back up a little bit. Let's let's. See.
what great textures there. Now that is some really super cool um, kind of theater of the mind textures when you're listening to the headsets or whatever your experience is. I'm, I don't care even if it's in, you know, car, half-ass car stereo. These textures are fantastic. That overly distorted guitar that came in started to get me off on like, okay, here we go. We're going to start really tearing into it. And then they drop into that super cool passage there where they have sequences. They have a little bit of an arpeggiation going on this side. And what an arpeggiation is, is a series of notes that might repeat itself. You know, those arpeggiations can change, you know, with the chords, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be just one series of notes that kind of blind through it. And also on this side, there was another, um, uh, like the piano uh, was keeping a, a separate melody there. So I really super dug that. That adds for really unique dynamics and layering. That's the magic in music that I truly love, is the ability for bands, musicians, and artists to compose and arrange um, songs that have very unique layers. And even if it's only a band that has, you know, just a couple of layers in it, you know, um, musicianship skills can make it sound so fat and so rich that there are sonic layers that don't necessarily have to be a, uh, arrangement layers. But in this case, um, this one is, this right here has got some really unique things going on. And they go in and out of that passage, really super gritty guitar into this super cool, ethereal, spacey kind of ambient metal or rock kind of vibe back into this power punch here. So let's go. On. <laughs> Need to rinse really quick with the bass player here. The bass player at the very beginning did some really super cool uh, opening lines and stuff like this, but this this bass player has just been keeping keeping the lock on. And another thing I have to just kind of circle uh, back on um, with the musicianship between the bass player and the drums because that is a that is that is the relationship there. Um, do you know Do you notice how the drums? Once again, I'm just bringing it to mind. Is has a very unique uh, position in the mix here. And then when the guitar comes in, that really heavy, oversaturated, dirty, hard left guitar, you know, left, right, split guitar comes in, how that has taken the power precedence. But that drum is still there. It's still in the pocket, but it sinks back into the mix a little bit. Sometimes it is, it's a decision to be made where they will, you know, have it all grouped after they've engineered, after they EQ'd and set the drums up. There's like a master fader that they would group everything, all the, all the mics would get grouped together. Uh, and then might get pulled back a little bit, you know, and those kind of dynamics Subtle as they may be are so effective in the delivery of the sonic art to you the listener So I'm, I'm totally digging that also with the singer uh, There there are a few post effects that punch in and out where he gets kind of scooped out and you know uh, Part of the tones of, of the EQ of the voice can be pulled to make it sound like he's singing out of a bullhorn or something or you know, add a little bit of uh, you know, over compress it, and then add a little uh, distortion to it. Gives it that small sound. But these really super cool harmonies are happening in the background as well. So this is a very complex piece. I, if I was an engineer, I'd be looking at the at, at the workflow and be going, yeah, let's do this. There's a lot of great stuff to you know, and that's great if the producer and the band's decision to do that allows the engineer to have that kind of fun because you know the band and the producers do get the last say 
you know, uh, in the in the engineering and how the engineering goes because they have a vision in their head for their sound. Trust me, that's that that is what I said, and that's how it's kind of that's what it's kind of like. All right, here we go. Loved how that ended with that super powerful riffiness that was going on there. That was really cool. And, um, you know, you saw me get a little nuts about the bass when I came back into this last section of the listen. What I loved about what was happening there is that, um, so that opening riff, which actually has been repeated a few times through the song, very catchy little riff. Um, the bass player was on top in the very first of it on the root note, which I believe is D. But the bass player, while that riff is going, it's staying in that unique pocket. When the bass player changed the note, it would be like, I don't know what he went to because I'm not listening to it, but let's just say he went from D to uh, G. So that would be a, you know, if you were to write it down, you know, music, that would be a D over G and then a D over the next note that he played, which kind of feels like it's a chord change, but it's not, it's, it's an arrangement change, you know, uh, because <coughs> actually that's just, you know, that's the beauty about arranging is that just because you take a note and shift it from another instrument, it does take, it does change the sonic texture of that chord, but it's not a chord change. It's a composition change that affects the root chord. And so it could be this chord that's playing the whole time, but if the bass changes its notes, kind of gives you the feeling that a, that, that a, that a chord is changing. And, uh, but I, I love the fact that they were also a little sparse with that riff. That kind of came in in certain areas. So it, they sprinkled it out instead of it being an intensely repetitive riff. Um, uh, that we hear a lot in some of the other music, which I totally fully dig. Uh, so anyhow, this was great. Um, Muse, and I'm totally stoked that you guys fully turned me on to them back then, finally getting around uh, to listening some more. Uh, tonight I'm actually listening to a brand new never heard artist that I've had kind of on my radar for a minute, and so that's going to be really super fun. Uh, guys, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out. If you see fit, you want to support the channel, buy me a cup of coffee. Link will be down below. Link for all their stuff is going to be down below. I even have merch, as you can see. And 100% of uh, the sales from the merch goes directly to the things that I do with the kids. Sometimes I donate to a hospital or a, a, a hospice or something. You know, 100% of that goes, or this, what am I doing? 100% of the merch goes to the kids stuff. All right, guys, take it easy. Thanks for hanging out. Aloha.